Hi folks, it's Richard from Inclusive Driving. I've been doing some filming for some theory test videos and yesterday uh, I took the front wheel off my car just to show you what's behind it, what parts of the braking system we can see. Um, so hope you find this one useful. So with the car lifted off the ground now, just under the box, and we'll show you what's underneath here or behind the wheel. That's all the bolts off, or the nuts rather. Slide the wheel off, and we'll just move that to one side. Okay, and we'll show you what's underneath here now. So I don't pretend to be a car expert at all. So we've got the wheel that holds the tyre. This metal disc is called a brake disc. And when the wheel spins, the hub spins, the brake disc spins and the wheel spins and they all spin together. Here comes Astrid the cat. Hi Astrid. Astrid, you're a YouTube star now. Go on, shift your bum. Yep, giving it a bit of an inspection there. So the brake disc is part of the braking system. This is what's called the brake caliper. Now that holds, well it does two things. Number one, it holds the brake pads. So the brake pad is the black thing. Let's see if we can get you a view down here. So the brake pad is what actually presses onto the brake disc. And there'll be one on this side of it as well which is not easy to see on the camera and the caliper basically does the pressing so the caliper squeezes the pad onto the brake disc and that creates the friction which slows the wheel down and that friction creates heat and that heat then gets lost to the atmosphere the brake disc gets hot which is why it's got these sort of corrugations in there as well these larger surface area is going to let the heat dissipate a little bit more now you can see there's a few sort of hoses and and cables and things amongst here so this this flexible tubing there that's a brake hose or a brake line and that connects into the brake caliper so when you put your foot on the brake, essentially you're pushing brake fluid, hydraulic brake fluid, this way, down the, down the uh, brake hose, or the brake line, which then squeezes the calipers, which squeezes the pads onto the brake disc. We've got a couple of wires around as well here. This one, is to do with the anti-lock braking i think there's going to be a sensor on here that will detect if the wheel has locked so if the brake pads are squeezing onto the brake disc so hard 
that the brake disc is locked that's going to cause a skid and so this sensor here will activate the anti-lock braking system and we'll talk about that another time the other couple of things we've got under here is this this long pole that's the shock absorber so when you hit a pothole that's what takes the pain away um, this linkage here don't know the proper name for it um, but when this moves it will it will angle the wheel so that's essentially what makes your car steer around corners as you turn the steering wheel this will move either that way or this way towards you to move the whole wheel unit that way and then over here the thing where you can see there's a black bellows let's try and get my hand in so this thing here that is basically connected to the engine and that rotates that way which rotates this which makes the car move forwards okay so i hope that's been useful to you let's put the wheel back together now the inside of a wheel as well now just a word of caution when you've got the car raised on a jack like this never reach underneath the car the jack is only a temporary lifting device um, and the car could collapse down on top of your head which is not a good thing on let's just put a couple of bolts on just hold it lightly just do that finger tight to begin with right They're just on finger tight. I can take my hand away now and it won't fall off. And we'll just pop the rest of these on again, just finger tight. This nut you'll see has got kind of a key pattern in it, which needs this key. Um, otherwise, this will just spin, but it won't actually lock onto the wheel. Now, this is what's called the locking wheel nut. Okay, and with all those in place, just finger tight. We'll lower the car back down onto the ground and then snug these bolts up tightly enough to drive with. Now the weight of the car is all on the wheel, we'll just go around and snug these, these bolts up. cycle round and 
and then put that away somewhere secure so that we don't lose it but we need it handy in case we're on the road and we get a flat tyre.